Hey guys, today I am going to talk about this new news article, which says over $1 billion worth of luxury watches have been reported stolen or missing, new data says, and I believe based on the article, this also includes consignment pieces that were not paid. So $2 million, $5 million is a drop in a bucket compared to the overall amount of luxury watches being stolen or missing. Uh, there's also, uh, the report said just in the UK alone, there is a large amount of watches. Actually, let me pull the report and put it here too. There are over a million. I, I, I thought I read it as a million, but that seems like a lot for the UK. Uh, there's a million counterfeit watches circulating in the UK alone. That is pretty crazy. And as we know that the Italian couples, they have, you know, they can travel to the U.S. So if there's a million in the U.K. and the U.K. is much smaller than the U.S., then you can imagine what that number looks like in the U.S. in terms of fake counterfeit. That's one of the things I really didn't understand about the gray market model. Um, you really have to trust that your gray market dealer knows what they're talking about. Anthony has not shown any skill with the counterfeit, the super counterfeit, if you will. He said it was fake, then it was real, then it was fake, then it was real again. So with such little expertise and like the, the watch movement, like again, I, I really look at Liz and Darby and I say, how do they know if somebody wants to sell or consign a fake? Can they guarantee that the watch is real? And without another partner involved, I don't think there's any chance that they can guarantee the watch is real. With that many fake counterfeits, with that much uh, watch is stolen, and just be aware that a watch is a very high value item. And whenever you deal with high value, also it's an item where you can break it down for parts. Um, it's an item where you can get cash for it very easily from a jeweler or a watch or a pawn store right it is an item that is easy is a very liquid so not only is it a high value item it's also a very liquid item that's why in poker sometimes you always see that like they're going after the watch when they run out of money because the watch is almost as good as money there's going to be more scams i think what happened in the u.s i can't say what happens what's happening in the uk is a lot of people got cheap credit, they got PPP loans forgiven, they took out large amounts of money, and uh, the IRS is still investigating today about that type of, they have uh, nine more years, I guess, to investigate the PPP loan fraud, but every, one day you went, and then all your neighbors had Lambos and uh, Richard Mills, and you're like, wow, your business must be doing really great during COVID. Nope, I took out the max PPP loans. I have a neighbor, I've already made a video, he took out $2 million in PPP loans, and now he is uh, in court still. So it's taking, he's been in court for probably as long as I've been, for like two years in court, and then three years in, you know, processing. Yeah, one day he came home, and uh, his driveway had a Lambo and a Porsche, and he was wearing a Richard Mille. Uh, I kid you not. Uh, and this is actually documented by, it's a, it's a public case in Houston. Um, it's pretty, I mean, there was that case in Florida of like an 18 or 20 year old, and he got, he bought a Lambo with his PPP loans, crashed it, and then bought another Lambo with his second dip of PPP loans. That's how little government regulation there was. Uh, there's other, I mean, there, there's very well documented cases. But once the money runs out, once the you know once the people want their money back, like a Bob or Wesley no longer is joking with you, they want to, they want their either their watch or money back, then the watches go missing and people have got into very big amounts of debt. So what I'm saying is, Anthony is not the only one who is going to be in trouble soon. Uh, the economy, as it's getting, you know, watches are down about 18 to 20 percent year over year. As the watch market cools off, then you can kind of see who is swimming naked, as Warren Buffett would say. When the tides are receding, 
now all these uh, hot shot dealers or their Ferraris, their G-Wagons, their Lambos, their Ducatis. I mean, think about Anthony. He's one person and he has, what, seven, eight Ducatis, a G-Wagon, Ferra a Ferrari, and a Lambo. Why do you need that many cars and bikes? Now, what a pity because of uh, his situation. Uh, he can't even, uh, doesn't even have a driver's license. <laughs> Who's driving him, by the way? If all the people abandon him and Darby's no longer driving. I don't think Darby drives. Oh, it was Trevor. Trevor was the one driving. Where did Trevor go? Uh, 